when it comes to HVAC, it's um, not as clear cut. And this is our current take on this. And I'll, I guess I'll go out on a limb and say that this is, this is our current take on this. This is how we're interpreting um, the CCC regulations relative to HVAC. Um, there is a lot of clarification that's been coming from the CCC recently, so we'll see if this stands, but um, generally code is only applicable to non-process areas. So, you know, it's office buildings, um, you know, places of gathering, schools, things of this nature, uh, but industrial type process are not covered under this state building code and cultivation spaces are considered to be process areas. So the idea that you have to follow the prescribed HVAC code for your cultivation spaces, uh, we don't believe that that is the case. For any part of your building that is you know, not process space, um, break rooms, offices, uh, the like, yeah, all of these need to be to code um, per this CMR. What you do have to do as part of the regulations, however, as it relates to the cultivation side of your HVAC, is you have to submit um, letters from mechanical engineers or licensed architects in the state of Massachusetts, you know, validating that the system has been appropriately sized for the loads of the space. And so that's, that's fairly new. Nobody else is doing that, you know, across the country. Um, and so there is a lot more scrutiny, I think, coming to the existing facilities um, you know, the service that the utilities like Eversource and National Grid offer through those, those TA uh, reports really set you up well uh, for meeting those requirements of the CCC in terms of documenting that, yes, this facility meets the requirements of 935 CMR, it meets the requirements of that 780 CMR.